So um, for we've all been now cooped up for several weeks. And uh, if you're like me, you're inundated with lots of information, cable news that just kind of looks at every single piece uh, and angle of, of what's happening with um, the response to COVID-19. But I wanted to elevate the conversation a little bit and talk about American leadership during this time of crisis and what we can learn moving forward. You know, if you think about every major global crisis of the past century, whether it is, you know, I, both world wars, the Cold War, the Great Depression, the global war on terror, the economic crisis of 2008, and a whole host of others, the rest of the world looked to the United States to lead the way out. Occasionally, though, now it looks as if in this crisis, we're playing catch up in a lot of ways to the rest of the world and how we're responding. And so I'm wondering, I'd love to just get your thoughts on that. Uh, are we playing catch up? Are we poised to provide the leadership that the United States historically provides in leading the world out of this crisis? Well, there are quite a few phases to what's going on. That's a, that's a big question and I, I, I'll take longer answering it than perhaps the other questions that get posed. But the first phase, which is getting ready to respond, uh, clearly, we were not in a position of extraordinary strength. Uh, we didn't have the testing as fast as we could have or should have. We did not have the personal protective equipment that we would have hoped to have. I think part of that is just the recognition that in many cases, American companies, multinational companies are producing these products elsewhere, typically in China. They had the uh, crisis first, so they got the PPE and we did not. Uh, and then just in terms of crisis management, the uh, uh, the willingness of the federal government to step in and to coordinate everything from PPE uh, to testing uh, to uh, uh, repair of, of uh, our, our hospital systems and so forth. Those, those things, none of those things really stood out as being great moments in American leadership. And uh, I, I think the world was a bit surprised by that because you're right. They think of us as being, you know, the nation that first went to the moon. Uh, that uh, has accomplished extraordinary things in the new economy, and yet when it came to PPE, uh, when it came to testing, uh, and just the, the speed of our response uh, looked slow relative to people like, well, South Korea, uh, Singapore, uh, China, Germany, uh, and, uh, and even Sweden to a certain degree. So that, that first phase was not one that will stand out, I think, as being a great moment in American leadership. Then as we get into the next phase, which is recovery, um, I, I think we have the potential to, to stand out in a positive way in the recovery area. And, and I'm talking with regards to the development of, of treatments and vaccines. Now, th that kind of research work is going on around the world. We may or may not be first, but certainly there's a lot going on here that's not going on in a lot of other places. And we may well be able to lead in that area. But then, then comes the time of stimulus, trying to get the economy going again. And we will certainly be looked to by the world uh, to help get the economy going. Uh, our consumer will, uh, will come to the fore as our consumer typically does. We have financial resources as the reserve currency of the world uh, and as the safest, uh, the dollar being the safest place for people to put their money. Th those resources give us the capacity to encourage the domestic economy, which helps pull the, the global economy. So yeah, we'll, we'll be a key leader in that regard. But then in the area that perhaps is most long lasting, which is post COVID, uh, because that's gonna come at some point. I think the US and China will be the two nations that really stand out uh, because technology will be seen as being more critical uh, than we might have anticipated, critical to identify threats, uh, most able to meet the needs of consumers in a changing world. And, uh, and we are a technology leader. China is increasingly also a technology leader. Those nations that are still relying on, on yesterday's uh, industries will find they're not able to keep up with us. And the U.S. and to a degree China will be stepping further forward. So, you know, the, the first phase, um, we didn't look real strong. And that's kind of an understatement. But after this is over, I think what we will have been able to do and our technology base uh, we'll, we'll maintain uh, the, uh, the reputation we have as being uh, a leader, if not the leader of the world.